I've had people ask me to uh, do a video to help them understand what it is that I'm doing. And I want to start, there's going to be a few videos that I'm going to slate, a few interesting dogs. This one is about Josie the Dublin Pincher. She's a one year old and she's a fear case. Not extremely fearful, but she shows it. The owners have one bad episode where she kind of snarled and growled at a kid and another dog. They don't know exactly what happened. But that's all it really takes is just one, one episode to put owners into a fear state and put the dog into an antisocial environment. Okay? And that's where the dog was heading. Now understand that they had trainers in before, and the last trainer actually yeah, recommended she wear a prong. And that's what they've been walking her in is a prong. And I don't like prongs. So let's go. So when I walk in the backyard, this is literally a worst case scenario. I've never met this dog before. I don't know what she's going to do to me. The fact she's being very quiet in the backyard right now, even when I uh, when I hit the fence, she, there's no barking. So I automatically pretty much understand that she's going to be insecure. She's not really a, she's not an aggressive dog. She's not going to come charging the fence. She's not going to charge me. Okay. So when I walk in, she looks at me. She barks. Hey. And at this point, she runs off the deck, and I don't know where she is. I don't know what she's going to do. She can come around the corner and bluff charge me. She can run off to the corner of the yard. I don't know. Oh, you're okay. insecure, dude. But as it is, she shows that she's fearful. She's you're played insecure. the only card that she has. She has no intention of biting. Not she's sure, not showing yeah. any aggression. And this is the moment that's going to happen. Hey. Now, she's more of a playful kind come of a dog. Here, and she's showing that she badly wants to trust me. But I'm a complete stranger. She's still very wary. She's nervous. And she's got a right to be. Oh, you're gorgeous. Okay, I'm just being calm in the backyard. I'm being positive reinforcement. I'm watching her body language. Come this here. is Josie right now at the worst case scenario. Where's her tail? Where's her ears? What's the body language? What's her stance? You know, is she barking? That's all important stuff to understand. Because when I do take her for a walk, if I start seeing these body language, then I know we got a problem. Okay? I just went up to sit on the deck I'm and just to see what she's going to do. I'm taking away that space from her. So about a three minute mark or three something, I bring Monty in. And this is where people get a little bit weird. Monty's a yeah, 10 pound dog, but Monty's a very confident dog. He's been through a lot of dogs in his lifetime. We've been in a lot of backyards, okay? And oh, what people need to understand is that it's Monty's decision whether to get down or not. He's communicating with me. When I walk in, I got him in my arms. He's looking at the dog. He's trying to figure out, okay, is she aggressive? Is she gonna hurt me? And usually the answer is no. So when the answer was no, I put her down. I put Monty down. Let him wander the backyard. Where'd you go? Ah. I still protected him. I still oh. stayed close to him to make sure she wouldn't do anything. Is this a game But changer? I already knew she had no intention of hurting him. Hey. And she knows that uh, Monty knows that she has no intention of hurting him either. Okay? So I put him down. Relax. She's not sure what to do. But she breaks and she goes and runs over to meet him. And Monty has no concerns. She has no intention of hurting him. Relax. Now at a 5.30 mark, roughly, I've got Monty in my arms. This is very important, okay? Good girl, there you go. Again, she's showing so badly Good that girl. she wants to trust. She comes over, she sniffs Good Monty's girl. bum while he's in my arms, but she doesn't really want to direct with me. She's not sure. Hey, she's not sure what to do. So bad, eh? Okay. And I'm oh. giving her every chance in the You're world beautiful. to relax, to calm. And I just want her to calm down. Beautiful. I want beautiful. her brain to engage and to come and say hello. Hey. I want her to calmly invade my space. It has to be her choice. Come and she does. There you go. The moment her ears dropped, hey. I knew she was coming in for affection. I got all kinds of dopamine love. I got my face licked. <clears throat> yeah, all kinds of dopamine love. Now, hey. this is another big important one here. So... Hey. Yeah, when I squat down, or when I uh, bend over and I get my hands down, hey. she still won't come to me. Come here. Okay? Come Always here. squat down for a dog. What I'm doing is showing a dog, you know what, I'm vulnerable. Hey, you're beautiful. I'm showing you, I know that I, I know you can attack me. I'm trusting you not to. And when you're in a vulnerable state, in a peaceful state, that's when animals really come to trust you. As James French said, when, when an animal finds peace in your presence, they'll come to trust you. And this is what I'm doing. This is called trust technique. Okay? Now... From this point onwards, we go for a walk, and she's showing me exactly what her problems are. <laughs> she's nervous. She's <laughs> sniffing the ground. I mean, she's pulling. Yeah. It's, it's all about that insecurity. She's <laughs> trying to uh, figure out, okay, is there, any, uh, is there anything go here going to harm me? Yes, okay? Do, and this is what her concern is. Remember, but as you notice, remember. I take the, uh, she's not in a prong, because the trainers before actually uh, Girl, had her walking in a prong, and I don't like prongs. It's that pure and simple. So just understand, I'm invading the dog's backyard. It's a worst case scenario. I don't know if they're aggressive. I don't know what they're going to do, if they're going to turn around and bluff charge me, if they're going to float attack, whatever have you. 
Now, in a case like Josie's, her gate's high enough that I can't see over it. So I've got to actually got to go by my own uh, my own dynamics and whatnot. But this is just an assessment. It's trying to understand what she's going to do in a worst case scenario. And she had no, she showed no aggression whatsoever. All she was was nervous. And more of a playful nervous, actually. She just doesn't, she wants to trust so badly. Okay? Now, I took Josie to a dog park. And I don't know if I'll do that video or not. But the thing of it was, I'm putting her again into a worst case scenario. I'm putting her in negative reinforcement. I'm being a positive reinforcement. I want her to choose to join me in positive reinforcement. Unfortunately, in the dog park, she needed exercise. And she was too amped up. So it wasn't a perfect day, but she did fine. There was no aggression. There was no nothing. I mean, she's not an aggressive dog. She clearly didn't show any aggression. So step back and understand something very clearly. When you're looking at dogs like Josie, people go, oh, yeah, you know, big Doberman Pinscher, big scary Doberman Pinscher. No, she's not a big scary Doberman Pinscher. She's the one that's scared. Okay? Stop and realize that. There's nothing to train here. Okay? I'm not training Josie for anything. I'm asking her to trust me. I'm asking her to join me in positive reinforcement to get out of that negative reinforcement because negative reinforcement, fear is the biggest negative reinforcement there is. Just understand that. When you can be the positive reinforcement, when you can be the highest value treating your dogs like that's when they change and dogs can change in hours, not months and years.